hate stickers. I don't understand why stores think that it's a good idea to put stickers on book covers. Like, what? why? Can't you just, like, not do that? That would be great. Why you do this to me, Costco? Why you do this to me? And today I'm here with another haul video. Well, are we really surprised? Your girl has no self-control and keeps spending the money she doesn't freaking have. I have a total of four books to share with y'all. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book I'm actually really excited about and it is The Forgetting by Sharon Cameron. And this is the first book in I think it's a duology. Not 100% sure because I don't do my research before I make my videos, clearly. The second book, The Knowing, just came out on October 10th, 2017. You're probably seeing this video in like 2018, February, because I never upload things on time. But this is the first book and the second book is called The Knowing and I just received an arc of it. So I was like, I need the first book, obviously, to read the second book. So I went to Chapters and bought the first book, and I would like to point out that I got this book and the next book for 55 cents. So if that's not expert shopping, I don't know what is, but your girl was very proud of herself. The next book is Empire of Storms by Sarah J Maas. I still have not read Throne of Glass or Crown of Midnight or Arrow Fire or Queen of Shadows, but this was on sale. Again, only got them for 55 cents, but I was like, I need it, might as well get it since I have the first four books, you know you need the fifth book. And Tower of Dawn just came out, so it just made sense in my head to buy the fifth book even though I haven't read the first book. You know, logic is not my strong suit. We should all know this by now. The next book I am so, 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 so excited about because it was on my most anticipated reads for September 2017. And then I found it in Costco and it was only $12.99 instead of the $22.99 it was supposed to be, so I was like, need it, got it, spent my money that I didn't have, but now it's in my possession and I'm gonna read it and be super excited about it. But it is a Friend Request by Laura Marshall. I think it sounds so dang cool. It's basically this girl died in 1989, but now, in like 2016, she just sent a f Facebook friend request to the girl who might have caused her death, and I'm just like, what? 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 So now, I have it, I'm gonna read it, I'm so excited about it, and I'm probably going to love it, hopefully, fingers crossed, because your girl is obsessed with thrillers, so we can only hope that this is gonna be a good one. And then the next book I also got from Costco for $13.99. So like, this whole haul, if I could do math, I, like, off the top of my head, I would do it, but like, it's like, 20-something and 55 cents? I don't do math, okay? Leave me alone. Just... It was cheap for four bucks, all right? It is Karen Slaughter's The Good Daughter, and I've heard so many things about this book. Everybody seems to really like it. Honestly, not 100% sure what it's even about, other than there's two girls who are forced into the woods at gunpoint, and one runs for her life, and one is left behind. That's all I know. But, again, it's a thriller. Your girl pretty much only reads thrillers now, other than, like, contemporary books that have been on my shelf for, like, two years, and I still haven't read, but I'm gonna get to them. Right. But I'm excited for this one. I've heard that it's really good, so hopefully your girl likes it as well. Alright guys, so that was my little haul. Still very proud of the fact that I got two popular books for 55 cents. Bargains are great. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!